The Tassili Najer Plateau in Algeria is home to one of the largest open-air art museums in the world. There are more than 15,000 paintings and rock engravings, some of which are more than 11,000 years old. But there's a curious detail. They don't show an arid desert, but a savanna full of life, with elephants, giraffes, and hippos. And why am I telling you this? Because this rock art is concrete proof that the Sahara, today one of the driest places on the planet, was once green, humid, and teeming with life. This period, known as the Green Sahara or North African Humid Period, took place between 6 and 11,000 years ago. And that's just the beginning of the story. When we look at the Sahara, it's easy to think that it has always been this endless sea of sand. But the truth is that under these scorching dunes, there are traces of ancient civilizations, mysterious megaliths, and even something reminiscent of a lost city. Yes, some people believe that the mythical Atlantis may be buried right there. But that's not all. Did you know that the sand in the Sahara is radioactive? or that there are giant lakes buried under the dunes? Today, Belo Mundo is going to take you on a journey deep into the Sahara and reveal everything that science has discovered there. So, get your water bottle ready, sit down comfortably, and come with me, because what's hidden beneath these sands will leave your jaw dropped. Number 1. Location and General Information before unearthing the mysteries hidden beneath the Sahara, it's worth understanding the true size of this giant. We're talking about a desert that covers around 9 million square kilometers, crossing 10 countries in North Africa, Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, Mauritania, Mali, Niger, Chad, and Sudan. Just to give you an idea, that's almost the whole of Europe. Now imagine crossing this hostile territory. The Sahara is not just a sea of sand. It hides colossal dunes that exceed 180 meters in height, almost a 60-story building, extensive stony plains called hamadas, and regions so arid that not even a cactus dares to grow. The impression is of a place that has always been dry, barren, and lifeless. But the truth is quite different. Scientists have discovered that between 5 and 10,000 years ago, the Sahara was green and teeming with life. It rained regularly, lakes covered huge expanses, rivers cut through the landscape, and North Africa looked more like a savanna than a desert. Elephants, giraffes, and hippos roamed the land, while human communities thrived on the abundance of food and water. And if this idea seems hard to believe, the proof is in the rocks. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, in places like southern Algeria and the Libyan desert, cave paintings dating back up to 11,000 years show impressive scenes. People swimming, hunting animals that today only exist in tropical areas, and even depictions of boats. A veritable time capsule carved in stone that defies everything we imagine about this part of the world. But then, what happened? What was this green paradise like when it became one of the most inhospitable places on the planet? The answer may lie deep beneath the sand, because the Sahara is not just an immense desert. It is a veritable treasure chest of hidden secrets, where scientists have been finding clues to an astonishing past. Buried cities, disappeared rivers, fossils of gigantic creatures, and even traces of possible lost civilizations. And that's exactly what we're going to explore now. Number 2. The Mega Lake That Once Existed in the Sahara It may seem impossible today, but there was a time when the Sahara hid a veritable sea of fresh water. Some researchers call it a mega lake, and the numbers are impressive. It is estimated that, at its peak, it covered between 42,000 and 100,000 square kilometers. To give you an idea, that's equivalent to an entire country like Portugal. 
And where did so much water come from? During the wettest periods in Africa, the monsoon rains were intense and the River Nile overflowed, spreading out into immense natural basins. Thus, gigantic lakes formed and remained for hundreds of years. But the most shocking evidence doesn't just come from geological research. Fish fossils and even mollusk shells have been found in areas where today there is only sand and stones. Imagine taking a walk through the Sahara and out of the blue, bumping into a fish fossil. There's no denying it. This arid land was once a paradise of water and life. As well as being a natural oasis, many scientists believe that these lakes were essential for the migration of our ancestors. During the expansion of humanity, it was crucial to have sources of water along the way. Without these strategic stopping points, the journey could have been impossible. But if the surface of the Sahara was once covered by lakes and rivers, is there still something hidden under all that sand? The answer is yes. Number 3. Underground Rivers Even today, it is believed that there are still reserves of underground water in some parts of the desert, stored in deep aquifers or trapped in porous rocks. For those who are up there melting under the scorching sun, it's hard to imagine that, just a few meters below, there could be a veritable underground ocean. In fact, Libya is one of the countries that has tried to harness this resource. For years, a project called the Great Artificial River used water from these millennia-old aquifers to supply coastal cities. The problem? This abstraction may not be sustainable, since the recharge of these reserves is minimal. If extraction exceeds replenishment, the well will eventually run dry. And it was precisely by studying these aquifers that scientists found fossils of fish and seashells, proving that rivers once flowed there. Some researchers believe that, in the past, ancient civilizations in the Sahara may have used these underground rivers for irrigation, extracting water through rudimentary canals and artesian wells. But how do we know that these rivers existed? Modern technology has helped a lot. Satellite remote sensing has revealed what we call ghost rivers, ancient riverbeds covered by dunes. From space, some of these formations appear as long, continuous traces, indicating that, under the sand, there are still marks left by the water that once flowed freely. In other words, even though it looks like a lifeless desert, the Sahara still holds secrets of its humid, river-filled past. And who knows, with further research, we may yet discover much more about what is really hidden there. Number 4. Rishat Structure, the famous Eye of the Sahara You can't talk about buried civilizations without mentioning Atlantis, can you? Well, there are people who swear with all their hearts that the mythical city described by Plato was not swallowed up by the Atlantic, but by a sea of sand in North Africa. The Rishat structure, which we've already mentioned, is the centerpiece of this theory. It has concentric rings of rock reminiscent of Plato's drawing of Atlantis. The problem is that Plato is talking about a circular city surrounded by water and the Sahara today is anything but wet. Those who support this theory often say that at some point in the past, North Africa experienced a cataclysm or a flood so great that it covered the region, destroying the hypothetical civilization. Then the water evaporated and what was left was the desert. Most archaeologists and geologists believe that Plato's Atlantis is more of a philosophical allegory than a real place. Even so, as we don't have deep excavations in the area of Rishat and other formations, there is always room for imagination. Maybe one day, who knows? Some explorer will find pillars submerged in the sand or megalithic walls that confirm the theory. In the meantime, the myth of Atlantis lives on, fueling movies, books, and a lot of curiosity on the internet. 
Number 5. The Mysterious City of the Garamantes Do you think that only Atlantis is hidden in this sea of sand? What if I told you that, in the middle of the Sahara, there was a prosperous kingdom with walled cities and a sophisticated irrigation system? In what is now southern Libya, between 500 years before Christ and 700 years after, a people surprised scholars by building a veritable empire in the middle of the sand. But, contrary to what one imagines about desert civilizations, they were not nomads living precariously. On the contrary, they developed advanced hydraulic engineering to extract water from underground. With a system of underground tunnels and ventilation shafts, they ensured the irrigation of crops and supplied their cities. This impressive structure sustained the population for centuries, proving that even in an inhospitable environment, it was possible to thrive. For a long time, this civilization was considered just a legend, but from the 1960s onwards, archaeologists began to find ruins of fortresses, cemeteries, and even roads buried under the desert. More recently, satellite images have revealed the actual size of the settlements, showing that this society was way ahead of its time. But like every great civilization, this one also had its downfall. By exploiting underground water resources without control, they ended up depleting the water table. Without water, the crops died and the kingdom disappeared. What remained was a collection of ruins covered by sand. And speaking of buried secrets, the Sahara has much more than just lost cities. Can you imagine that, before it was a desert, this land was home to gigantic animals? Number 6. Fossils of Giant Animals and Dinosaurs It sounds crazy, but millions of years ago, before the Sahara turned into this arid landscape, it was a fertile land full of rivers and tropical forests. And do you know who walked there? Giant dinosaurs. One of the biggest finds was Mansurosaurus, a herbivorous titan from the late Cretaceous period, discovered in Egypt. But it wasn't alone. Fossils of other dinosaurs, including ferocious carnivores, have been found all over the region. And it doesn't stop there. The desert was also once home to giant crocodiles, which could easily swallow a person whole, and even colossal fish, which swam through rivers that are now completely dry. In the region of Morocco, for example, it is common to find fossils of marine creatures, trilobites, ammonites, and corals that once lived in shallow seas are embedded in rock formations dating back to the Devonian period. In other words, the Sahara was once an ocean, a forest, a lake, and home to animals that today we only know from history books. And for archaeologists and paleontologists, it remains a veritable buried treasure, but with temperatures that exceed 50 degrees and dunes that move constantly, anyone who ventures out to explore this immensity needs to be prepared. After all, you never know what might be hidden beneath the sand. Number 7. Roman Civilizations and Other Influences If you go north of the Sahara, you might find something unexpected. Roman ruins. Yes, the Roman Empire didn't just stay in Europe. It spread across North Africa, dominating regions that are now part of Tunisia, Algeria, and Libya. For centuries, the Romans built cities, fortresses, and even roads that connected different parts of the empire. And guess what? Much of it is buried under the dunes. Using satellite images, archaeologists have already identified traces of perfectly straight Roman roads, which, over the centuries, have been swallowed up by the sand. In addition to the Romans, other civilizations also left their mark there. The Phoenicians, for example, established trading colonies in North Africa, and there are indications that some expeditions may have advanced across the Sahara in search of gold and ivory. Many of these settlements have been consumed by time and the desert, 
but the possibility of finding more traces of these cultures is enormous. In the end, the Sahara is not just a desert, but a veritable buried archaeological museum. And speaking of sand mysteries, there's something even more unusual here. Number 8. Radioactive Sand and Cold War Nuclear Tests Well, this one isn't exactly about what's under the sand, but about the sand itself. Few people know, but part of the Sahara is slightly radioactive. And what's to blame? Nuclear tests carried out during the Cold War. The first suspicion always falls on France, which in the 1960s carried out nuclear tests in southern Algeria. But recent research shows that most of the radiation found in the Saharan dust has a chemical signature more similar to the nuclear explosions of the United States and the Soviet Union. How so? Well, when the atomic bombs were detonated in the atmosphere, their radioactive particles rose into the upper layers of the atmosphere and traveled around the world. In other words, the winds carried residues from these explosions to different continents, including Africa. In 2022, scientists analyzed samples of Saharan dust that reached Europe and found traces of plutonium compatible with these tests. The radiation, according to the studies, is not a direct health risk, but it proves that the atmosphere has no borders. What happens in one corner of the planet can impact places thousands of kilometers away. Now, as well as hiding ancient civilizations and fossilized dinosaurs, the Sahara also bears the scars of one of the most tense eras in modern history. And who would have thought that even the dust of the desert would have such a fascinating history? Number 9. The Future of the Sahara If there's one thing the Sahara has taught us, it's that it can always reveal new surprises. With the advance of mapping technologies, such as microwave sensors, high-resolution satellites, and artificial intelligence to detect hidden patterns, more and more discoveries are being made. Who knows, maybe in the next few years we'll find more underground mega-lakes, or even lost cities buried in the dunes. In addition, fossil exploration continues apace. Many paleontologists believe that the desert still holds great treasures, such as never-before-seen dinosaur skeletons or giant mammals that inhabited the region before desertification. Not to mention the geological interest, it is already known that the Sahara's subsoil has oil and natural gas reserves. But here comes a dilemma. To what extent can these resources be exploited without compromising the environment and the historical heritage hidden beneath the sand? The fact is, the more you look at the Sahara, the more it surprises you. Now tell me, what shocked you the most? Knowing that Saharan dust can travel all the way to Europe carrying radioactive traces from the Cold War, or that Underneath all that immense sand, there were once empires, giant lakes, and dinosaurs. If you enjoyed this content, you already know. Leave a like, subscribe to Bello Mundo, and activate the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you very much for joining us, and see you next time.